fugitives caught. A deadly crime spree spanning more than three states comes to an end in South Dakota. We have details coming up. And a small puppy on his own in the outdoors for weeks. We bring you a survival story. Good morning, this is Kella Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. A crime spree that began with two murders in Ohio and with arrests in South Dakota. Highway Patrol troopers arrested Timothy Sargent and Savannah Emick Monday morning near Freeman. The U.S. Marshals Service had been looking for them for the last week. Sergeant faces an attempted murder charge for a shooting in Akron, Ohio earlier this month. Authorities believe Sergeant and Emek are linked to multiple shootings and two murders. Both are expected to be in court today. We have more information on last Friday's homicide in Sioux Falls. Police say 28-year-old Roseanne Eagle Road is the woman found bleeding and calling for help in the area of Russell Street and Kiwanis Avenue. Authorities are waiting on autopsy results, but believe Eagle Road was stabbed. 32-year-old William Christopher Little is behind bars in connection with the homicide. On Sunday, Sunday afternoon, many members of the Minneapolis County Sheriff's, Sheriff's Department's Fugitive Task Force uh, were able to develop a location where he was potentially at. And Mr. Little, with the assistance of the Wagner Police Department, Wagner, South Dakota, and the Fugitive Task Force apprehended him in Wagner, South Dakota last night. While the investigation is still underway, investigators believe there was a disagreement about buying illegal drugs. Little is charged with second-degree murder and first-degree manslaughter. Sioux Falls police are also investigating an attempted kidnapping. Police say around 6.30 Sunday night, a woman was walking near 9th Street and Cliff Avenue when a man drove up and started talking to her. The woman ignored the man and kept walking. The man then got out of the car, grabbed the woman, and tried pulling her towards the car. She said at some point she was able to dial uh, a friend or a relative, and he heard somebody say hello on the phone, and she thinks that kind of spooked him, and then he let go of her, and he drove away. The woman told police she believed he was a Hispanic man about 5 feet 5 inches tall and around 30 years old. He was driving a black BMW. Well, turning to weather now, hot temperatures are settling in here in Kella Land. But how long will they stick around? Let's find out with meteorologist Scott Bunt. Well, good morning, you two. We still have a couple of days worth of this heat with temperatures in the 90s to lower 100s. In fact, another heat advisory is in effect today covering western, central, and eastern Kella Land as that heat index will easily be into the triple digits. So expect this heat advisory into the evening hours until 7 or 8 o'clock this evening. Future heat index showing triple digit numbers in the central and northern Kettle Land as well as parts of northeastern South Dakota's Watertown will get close to 101 for a heat index. More details on the Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast coming up. Thanks, Scott. With temperatures reaching the 90s in parts of Kettle Land, the pool sounds like the place to be. That's what kids in Rock Valley, Iowa did yesterday afternoon. From jumping off the diving boards to splashing around with friends, it's a good way to cool off. The summer is, has been very hot and warm for it, so it's been a good summer. The pool has now entered its back to school hours. It will be open for parts of the day through Monday. In Sioux Falls, however, the city pools are closed, which meant Pioneer Spray Park was a busy place. Monday afternoon, families were out trying to cool off from the hot summer weather. One eight year old at the park told us what he thinks is the best part. Um, that there is water and I love water. Everybody loves water. Everybody loves water on a hot day. There are 60 different spray nozzles at the park. It includes a water tunnel. It's open from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. A wandering wiener dog is home safe this morning. Harley, an 11 month old miniature dachshund, got away from his dog sitter on July 31st near Lake Madison and hadn't been seen since. Dozens of people searched for him for the past three and a half weeks with no luck. But Sunday, a couple from Brookings spotted him alongside this road about a mile from his home. Harley's owners say they were afraid for him and thought he might have gotten run over or was attacked by a wild animal. Deadly scared. I mean, he's our kid. He's everything to us. Harley is a little skinny. He went to the vet for a checkup and had lost three pounds, but otherwise he's in good health. Undergraduate researchers from Westminster College in Missouri excavated a triceratops skull from South Dakota. The group says usually during fossil expeditions, they expect to find fragments of dinosaur bone. But that changed when a rancher discovered something unusual poking out of the earth as he was repairing a fence. After weeks of careful excavation, the group finally dug up the 3,000-pound triceratops skull, which they named Shady for the nearby town of Shade Hill, South Dakota. 
And check this out. A viewer sent us these videos of what appears to be three mountain lions roaming around the northwest part of Rapid City. The security cameras recorded the big cats early Monday morning hanging out in a yard. The South Dakota Game Fish and Parks Department has been alerted to the mountain lions. And that's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Scott Munt. All right, good morning you two. Good morning, everybody. As we do look at Futurecast for today, mostly sunny skies and hot. It's trying to point to an isolated shower or thunderstorm that can develop across the hills of western South Dakota. It's in there at about, uh, we'll say, 20 to 30 percent chance to see that, though I do think we'll have better chances probably as we go through the day on Thursday. Notice how the rain chance starts to grow there across north central, eventually western and central South Dakota as we go through the day on Thursday. And the thinking is that that will eventually spread in the eastern and southeastern Kettle Land. We'll say Thursday evening and Thursday night. And the Storm Prediction Center already has a slight risk for severe weather to cover central and eastern Kettle Land. Rainfall amounts may approach a half inch in north central and northeastern Kettle Land if you're caught underneath the right thunderstorm, and is as long as severe weather stays away. So for today, temperatures will hit the 90s to the lower 100s, and a forecast tonight showing temperatures fall to the 60s and 70s. We'll end here on the forecast for tomorrow. Temperatures probably into the 90s to the lower 100s, and you can always check the seven-day forecast while you're here online. Have a great day.